Can you imagine? Being tested, you can't imagine. No exaggeration. You know, a few years ago, I was in uh, Gaza, in uh, Palestine, Gaza, and this was after the uh, bombing. And we met a man. This man, he had six daughters. Six daughters. And the bomb hit his house. Everybody became unconscious. And the father says, I woke up and I was looking for my daughters. Out of those six daughters, five died. He said, I removed the rubble. He said, my eldest daughter was very loved in the area. She was a very loving person. Every night she would go to sleep with her arms around her two younger sisters. Every night. And he said, when we removed the rubble and we found their bodies, I found them in exactly the same situation, exactly the same position. She had her arms around the two younger sisters. And the brothers who were there began to cry. And the father who had lost the children came up, he stood up and he began to console the brothers. He said, don't cry, for they are by Allah in Jannah, for them in Jannah. You know, sometimes we look at our trials and tribulations, we think we're having it rough. We're having it tough. The truth is, if you look at other people, and this is the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu he said, look at those who are below you in the dunya and you will remain happy. Look how many people today in the world don't know where their next meal is coming from. Look how many people in the dunya today, I have my own nephew, my, my eldest brother's son, he suffers from motor, motor neurons. His condition is such that he can't move his arms, he can't move his legs, he can't move any limb in his body. And his state is deteriorating. And just before I went to see him, I had a few things on my mind which were worrying me. When I went to see him, I thought, SubhanAllah, how ungrateful am I? You look at his state and you look what Allah has given us. Last week, I went to Syria. I was on the Turkish border, one day in Turkish border and the next day I was in Syria. I went to a camp, it was freezing, it was colder than the UK. It, the, the weather temperature was minus. And I went to this camp. There are 10,000 people living in tents. Over 20% of those children I saw with my own eyes were walking around with slippers. Can you imagine? No hot water. I had to do pray one salah there. And I had to do wudu. And then we still complain that we ain't got enough. We still don't do the shukr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why the Prophet sallallahu said, in the dunya compare yourself with those below you and you will be happy. Because if you compare yourself with those who are more than you, then you will never be happy. What will, you will, what will happen is that you will be on Prozac. You will suffer from depression because people will always have more dunya than you. And the Prophet sallallahu said, لو كان لابن آدم وادياني من ذهب if man had two valleys of gold, two valleys of gold, he would desire a third. He would want a third. Two is not enough. And then the Prophet ﷺ said, the only thing which will satiate man is the dust in the grave. When he's put in the grave, then only will he be satiated. Then only will his desires stop. And this is life, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Life is short. Go to the graveyard. Look at the, look at the dates on the tombstone. Soon as we came out of the airport, we passed the graveyard. Look at the dates. 1850, 1900. You realize that these people spent more time under the grave, uh, under the ground than above it. And that's my and your reality. That is man's reality. That we come into the dunya 
Nobody chose to come in the dunya. Did you choose to come in the dunya? You didn't choose. It happened. And the day will come that you will leave this dunya. And you will not choose the time that you want to go. It's no visa that you apply for my time. I want to go now to Jannah. No visa. It comes. And it comes all of a sudden. And you leave the dunya involuntarily. You came involuntarily. You leave the dunya involuntarily. So what makes you think that you have any right over the period in between? That period, Allah brought you to dunya and Allah will take you one day. But Allah gives you this short period of time. Because Allah wants to see what my servant will do with the life I gave him. Will he remember me? Or will he just follow his whims and desires? And this is a question that we need to ask ourselves. 16th of March in central London. Book your tickets now online, lightuponlight.info.